If you're leveraging NA then to build automations for your business or sell them to your clients, you should definitely check out this bot on ChatGPT that can do everything for you. So whether you're still learning or you're trying to troubleshoot or you have a team doing this for you, they should all be using this bot. And no, I don't have any affiliation with them. It's just that I've been using this for the past few months to help me build a bunch of automation, save thousands of hours in our company. And in fact, actually, and this is unfortunate, but fire a whole department that was doing lead generation for us all replaced with an ADN automations like the ones that are on the screen right now and that I've leveraged this specific bot to help me create. Without further ado, let me show you how to get it. So you want to open your ChatGPT account. So then you're going to go to open sidebar. You're going to click on explore GPTs. And once it opens this page, you're going to type in N8N. And you're going to find this first one right here. It's going to be called NADEN Assistant. You're going to click on it and you're going to start the chat. So put it simply, this is an assistant created by someone with all of the documentation about NADEN that they could possibly find. And so it is already trained on the type of nodes that NADEN can create, the type of automations you can create, and the type of structure that you need at scale. So I'm not going to just tell you, hey, install this and that's the end of the video. I'm going to give you some good prompts that I use myself to get very good output. So without further ado, let's jump into prompt number Number one. Here is one that I really like using. It is, do you see any potential problems with this workflow if I want to run any records at scale? Any suggestions for improvements? And then all that I'm sharing is a JSON file of the NADN automation I already have. I'm assuming if you already have one, this is the way you can stress test it without you having to come up with all of the ways to solve it. So if you want to know how to get one of these, it's actually very simple and I'm going to show you. All that you need to do is open your NADN automation, click here on these three dots in the top right corner of the screen and click download. Then you just take that file and give that to ChatGPT. So in this case, I've given it the file and it told me all of the problems. Hey, there are some inefficient batches here. So if you run this automation at scale, it may actually fail. Then it's telling me that this HTTP request at scale might break because of API limits. Now I've got to fix that. It's also telling me there might be some errors in some of these nodes. So if you just create an error handler, you will solve all of that. And so what I did is if you look into the flow is I created a bunch of error handlers based on that information. And you can do the exact same. It will save you a lot of hours of work and it's actually very straightforward. So if you don't know how to do it, all you have to do is ask this GPT, how do you exactly accomplish that? And you can do that with a problem like this one. Explain this further and then you copy paste everything from that that you did not understand. It will then explain it in depth and tell you exactly how to implement. So for example, split the workflows or group related operations. And then here's an example of exactly how you do that. And here are the benefits. Now you don't need to hire an engineering team anymore to get your automations to work. All you have to do is have GPT stress test them and you're good to go. So it becomes a lot easier. Now, another thing that you can do, and I'm showing you live conversations here, is you can have it create some expressions to do specific things for you so you don't need to know code. For example, I do know code, but I did not want to come up with this JavaScript right here for this expression. So I just asked this bot to do it for me. And voila, here is the final result. And I'm also going to use it to correct any errors that I face. So if ever I get something from this NADEN node and it doesn't work, I just take a screenshot of that and give it back to the NADEN and let it do its work and suggest a better solution. Now, another thing that you can do is you can use it for AI prompts, specifically for NADEN. So for example, I wanted an AI assistant that would do ICP checking. So I shared a prompt with it and I asked it to improve. And actually the new prompt was a whole lot better. I put this in an then I never changed again. This is the prompt I have to this day. And if you don't believe me, you can literally check my previous videos where I broke down this exact automation. And this is the prompt that was inside there. So strongly recommend that you use it for that as well. Um, another thing that you can do with it, I'm just scrolling down here, showing you some of the prompts that I've been running here. But another thing you can do is you can ask it to come up with the JSON file for you. So you don't need to create it yourself. If you're starting out and you don't have an automation, instead of coming up with one, you just tell it, hey, this is what I wanted to accomplish. Go ahead and create a JSON file for me so I can just import it inside NADEN. And voila, it's going to create a JSON file for you. Very simple, very to the point. Now, there is not much more to this. I just wanted to show you that that is exactly how I do my NADN workflow creation. And I hope this saves you as many hours as it saved me. And it improves your own automations. And if you want more tips like this one, consider subscribing to the channel and checking this other video on the top automations that we run in our company. They save us the most amount of hours and make us the most amount of money. The link is right here. I'll see you there.